All right, here we are, another episode of the High Ground, powered by Premier Companies. Doing all right, Sal? Doing wonderful today. Good. Good deal. Hey, we want to uh, remind everyone, if you uh, appreciate what you see, enjoy our guests and our information, we ask that you like and subscribe at whatever platform you uh, listen to the High Ground on. And today we have a, a guest joining us virtually. He is a, a Premier a uh, fellow employee as well, but uh, representing our newest acquisition, the Southern uh, Pro, uh, Petroleum Division. And uh, Chaz, I will let you just go ahead and uh, introduce yourself first, and then we'll get into the uh, territory and stuff. We'll let you introduce yourself first, and then we have question of the day for you. Oh, the question of the day, yeah. Okay, All Chaz, right, cool. tell us who you are. Yeah, uh, my name is Chaz Hurd. Heard like a herd of cattle. Uh, I usually have to spell it out for people. I am the uh, director of operations for the Southern Petroleum Division. So that's uh, my current role. Located where? Somerset, Kentucky. Somerset, Kentucky. So, so we're kicking these off with a question of the day, Chaz. So uh, we always go to our guests first. So your question of the day today is: If I were to look at your Apple Music playlist or whatever, however, what format you listen to your music on? What would I find currently being listened to? Currently being listened to today is uh, an artist by the name of Noah Khan out of Vermont. He's kind of like a folky, uh, uh, bluegrassy kind of, you know, kind of, I can't really, you know, figure out what he is, but yeah, that's, that's it. Outstanding. <laughs> Outstanding. Well, thank you. Sal, it's coming to you. Oh man, I am all mixed You still up. on the Frozen soundtrack? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> So I, yeah, I've got an 11 year old, uh, she's going to be 12, 11 year old little girl and I am all over the place and no Taylor Swift, but I've got everything from the gourds or something like that nice. that I listen to, <laughs> uh, to, uh, imagine dragons. I mean, she's got, so we share a, uh, Pandora account, right. For the whole family. So it is all over the place. So, uh, but I'd have the gourds and, uh, everything from the gourds to classic rock and then to some of whatever she's listening to right now or audio books. I got a lot of audio books on there. Sure. Well, musically, I think on mine, if you turn it on right now, it would be flatland cavalry. That's, that's a band out of Texas. And, uh, I listen to a lot of the Texas red dirt music. So it's either Kobe Cooper or flatland cavalry today. And, uh, as well as uh, potentially an audio book. But I think if you turned it on, it was it would be Flatland Cavalry blaring through, uh, through my truck currently. I got to tell you, I'm going to these high school basketball, sectional time frame, and I'm going to some of these high school basketball games, and they're playing Joan Jett and 40-year-old music at the for uh, music during the half times and stuff like that. So it's kind of funny to see how the old stuff is still still present. Yeah, it's uh, it, uh, this is my 30th, uh, 30th class reunion year. And I don't believe our grades got together once <laughs> since we graduated, but this would be if we had one, our 30th class reunion, but you are correct. It seems like there's a lot of that music, uh, uh, being, uh, being played at the basketball games through the pet bands and, and everywhere, even yep. through the speakers during warm up. So, all right, Chaz, back to you. And, uh, we're going to talk about Southern Petroleum and, uh, the addition that we, uh, that we made as premier, uh, last year, I guess. And, uh, and so let's, let's talk about, your territory, where you cover, and we'll just kind of dig into the specifics of your assets, your locations, and all that, but kind of give us a footprint of, of Southern Petroleum. Yeah, so uh, we're kind of spread out uh, from north, you know, western Kentucky, kind of right there close to you guys in Indiana on the line there around Louisville. Uh, we've got bulk plant facilities, uh, 10 total, but they're ranging pretty much straight down the middle of Kentucky all the way into Tennessee just a little bit. So that's pretty much where we are. We got bulk plant divisions. They, you know, we operate about 40, 50 mile radius out of each one of those. So they're kind of overlapping each other and touching each other, which is great. Uh, and then we have a transport division as well that manages all the bigger loads. So nice. How many, how many different locations, uh, does that, uh, so there's, there's yeah, 10, 10 bulk facilities, 10 bulk. um, 10 bulk facilities, and then we have the transport division that operates kind of a northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, if you were to cut Kentucky across the middle uh, horizontally. Uh, so we go down around the Knoxville area in about a 150-mile radius from there. One of the most, yeah, one of the most beautiful areas in the yeah. country, I am guessing. So, uh, yeah, so so around you, recreationally, what, what are you surrounded by down there? You call home to what uh, the rest of us vacation to. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we're known for, uh, in Somerset here, we're known for Lake Cumberland. Uh, I think it's one of the largest man-made lakes in, you know, this part of the country. And um, it, it's spraying, it spans out over several several counties. Uh, but that's a big drawing place for this area. And then we have uh, what's called a, a Summer Nights Cruise. It's a national car show. Uh, it goes all summer long, fourth Saturday of every month. That's drawn in a lot of attention over the years as well. But those are kind of our two big things for this area. So, uh, Chaz, tell us a little bit about your your customer mix. I mean, up uh, so you got lots of you got lots of coworkers and friends now that you haven't even met up uh, th- from the rest of Premier Ag, and uh, same same up here. I mean, it's 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 a really we are a close company. I mean, the, the employees were everybody's got a different role to play. But tell us a little bit about what your product mix is and the customer base that you that you serve. And then I want we want to know more about what you do. Yeah, so we're selling uh, basically all your grades of fuel, uh, gasoline and diesel, uh, kerosenes. We have a little bit of race fuel as well, but our our customer base is very similar to yours as well. And um, yeah, we've got agriculture, we've got commercial, we've got gas stations, we've got uh, big factories, and um, you know, so we're we're kind of a hodgepodge of everything, if you will. So tell us about your role, Chaz. What? what yes, yeah, so my role. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of, I started out with Southern Petroleum, uh, straight out of high school, uh, went in as a, as a cashier, one of our C stores, um, night shift. And it was, uh, it was a great experience and I quickly got promoted to, uh, day shift, uh, second shift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's usually how we do it. Yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, then our companies there, are got, just alike. Yeah. 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 So from there I got promoted to delivering oils and loading trucks at our bulk plant. And, uh, then I kind of dipped into a few things after that, but I've been, uh, I've been with Southern Petroleum. I'm going on 17 years this, um, this may actually. Uh, so my role has kind of just evolved wherever there was a need. And if I was capable and they thought I was capable, that's where they put me. So it's been a great experience because I've learned a lot of, uh, along the way as well. But my current role is just the director of operations. So I'm kind of the point man for our day to day and uh, kind of help steward our operations along. And that's, that's pretty much my role at this point. Great. Thanks for sharing that. So we're going to try to make this, uh, obviously we got a nice little view, uh, overview of, um, uh, of your, of your operation and, and where that territory is. So in reference point, so we we see Lake Cumberland, we slide down into Tennessee and I, uh, forgive me. I think the farthest South, uh, location we have Sparta, Tennessee. So in reference to, uh, Knoxville, Gatlinburg ish area. I mean, where are we down in as far as that goes? Just give reference to those who, who are, don't know where Sparta, Tennessee is. Yeah. So Sparta, Tennessee, actually, if you were to look at the, the Tennessee map and you look at Knoxville and completely parallel to it, you got Nashville, Sparta is directly in the middle. Uh, so we're kind of the halfway point between those two cities, but Knoxville, you got right here and Gatlinburg's just a little further South from it. So that's about where, where Sparta is. We may actually put a map up so people sure. can. <laughs> yeah, we absolutely will. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And when the, I, t- I think I told you when the crappie start spawning and stuff, we'll bring you your high ground swag and you can meet us on the dock. I so. think, yeah, here in a few <laughs> weeks, right? <laughs> right. So. Yeah, we're close. We're getting close. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's good stuff. And it, it's beautiful down there. We've toured your facilities, and it's uh, it, it's been it's been great. So how many employees uh, are affiliated with the Southern Petroleum Group, Jeff? Yeah, yeah, our division right now currently looking at 85. Okay, great. Great. So as we do employee spotlights as well, um, we, we asked that you tell us a little bit about yourself, and we've done a few of these. And so we, we're curious about family, first of all. Yeah, I've got uh, uh, my wife and three kids. Um, they're, my oldest is 11 nine and then i got a, a basically six year old he's gonna turn six and we're actually going through an adoption process now so hopefully we'll have number four here uh very soon i've uh, been married for 15 years this this month actually so um uh yeah that's that's pretty much it we're we're that's that's all the family all right great <laughs> well, congratulations but uh, on, on yeah. your upcoming anniversary so chaz it sounds like you have done every job that is <laughs> is possible in energy from a from a distribution standpoint everything from sea stores to your current role what's been your favorite and why my favorite role and why the night shift that first one you had right out of high school (laughs) yeah Yeah, you you peaked at the beginning 
I could just show up, clock in, clock out. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Dude. Yeah. No, honestly, I'd say I'd say now uh, this is my favorite role so far. You know, I, I learned really quick. Uh, doing the different positions that, you know, your team is really important and the people that you work with is really important. And um, so that's something I've always gravitated to is, is equipping and empowering our people. And it's just fun. It's fun to have problems that you can work through and and be successful with them, too. Um, so that was one thing, you know, with with joining up with pr- the premier family, the cultures are very similar and it's it's been great. We're all we all feel like family. Good, good. Oh, jumping around just a minute, I want to talk about your terminals quickly and where where you're loading your trucks from. I mean, I know there are several several transports and tank wagons affiliated with your division. So before I forget that, as we talk about your business uh, uh, geographically, so we we get uh, through Indiana, you know, we get pretty familiar with our country mark terminals and uh, Cincinnati and and some of those places. So where where are you sourcing most of your fuel uh, from? Yeah, I'd say about 70% of our gallons are coming out of the Tennessee-Knoxville terminal, which is a direct line from the Gulf Coast. Uh, So everything's being plumbed in there. There's a lot of suppliers we're lifting from there. Um, But we pull out of Lexington, Kentucky, and Louisville, Kentucky as well. That would be the other percentage of our gallons. So our transports are positioned just well enough that we're able to touch basically the whole state um, from all, all terminals. Yeah. One of the latest challenges we just had, and I, I think um, you were instrumental, uh, you and some of your teammates, of uh, working through this fuel shortage, uh, diesel fuel shortage, right? Am I saying that correctly here, that just kind of a recent event? How did you – what was one of the biggest challenges of working through that, and how does how did you equip Southern Petroleum uh, to, to weather all that whenever so many places were having uh, outages? Yeah, so I'll give uh, Premier and the Premier family a lot of credit there and uh, being positioned well enough that we were able to get ahead of it. We were notified, you know, at early on and uh, we have the, the assets and the capacity that we kind of just started picking up product where we could, filling up our bulk plants, taking care of our customers on the short trucks. Uh, so you had transports basically backfilling the bulk plants and the bulk plants taking care of everybody else. So uh, we were just really fortunate um, and we have a good team that is, you know, we've kind of dealt with hurricanes being out of the Knoxville Gulf Coast, we deal with hurricanes, we deal with ice storms, we deal with a lot down this way and product issues. And we know our first our first move is to communicate and stock up. So that's what we did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I lived in Southern Kentucky for uh, three years, and yeah, the ice is <laughs> the ice is unbelievable. I mean, it's hail in the summer and ice in the winter if you get it. And uh, but uh, most of the time, it's generally beautiful. But ice is an issue there. So. What's a, so I guess I got one more, uh, at least one more question here is what's gone really well. Uh, what's been a, I guess what's been gone really well and what's been a surprise, uh, maybe a pleasant surprise, but about the merger or acquisition or, or the change, I guess. Well, um, for me, this kind of, uh, the small family owned operation is all I know, you know, I came right out of high school and kind of just jumped right into it. So that model and that, that dynamic with the people and the customers and the employees is, is the only thing I could ever really identify with personally. Um, so, you know, getting to know you guys and, and kind of partner with you and, and seeing how the cultures are so spot on with each other. Um, it's, it's honestly like we've worked with you for 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 years uh so it's been great i I'd definitely say it was a divine appointment and uh truly thankful but that was that was a big surprise not really knowing what to expect but uh just being open about it and it's been great so far yeah that's one thing about us uh, all of our co-workers no matter where it seems we're all pretty open communicators and and what you see is what you get i mean there's not really yeah. anything else and it's all everybody's like-minded to take care of the customer yeah for sure Absolutely. So I, you know, I don't have a ton more. I mean, it's just nice. Uh, this is a good way because uh, there are just Sal hit it a while ago. It, it just got so big so quick uh, that that getting to know people and associating names with faces and uh, they, we thought this was a great way to uh, to begin that introduction. And of course, it's uh, the appeal for uh, for us is to head your direction because that's I, all new. That's, that's all, all new territory down there. And uh, I've met met several of you all, and it uh, it's just been a great experience. But uh, yeah, we. Or the initial uh, intention is for us to get your direction, but for sure we'd like to get others up here and introduce you. But this was a good way for uh, to get a name and a face together for certain. And I, I just think Ryan's spot on, and that a crappie fishing trip would probably be about as good as way as I know how to to get to know folks. Right? We got 
And we would have there you up for uh, we would have you up for ammonia pulling time. Oh, so I mean, <laughs> to, to reciprocate, what we could bring yeah we we could bring you up while we're pulling ammonia. <laughs> yeah, we'll make we'll make a trip out of it. We got a lot of customers we need to see on the lake down here, right? So I would agree. <laughs> I would agree. I love <laughs> I love the thought. So anything else you'd like to share, uh, Chaz, while we've got you here? Oh no, other than I just appreciate you guys having me on, and thank you be uh, for being welcoming of our of our group and our division, and we're all. Uh, you know, like-minded and, and anxious and excited for the future and the growth opportunities for, for all of us. Likewise, Chas. Thank you so much and uh, appreciate the opportunity and uh, look forward to seeing you again in person before too long. So uh, with that, this is another episode of the High Ground powered by Premier Companies. Thank you. Thanks, Chas.